My fellow YouTubians, welcome to Saturday's Upload, my name is NBZ, but you knew that already, because I steal catchphrases like a professional. Um, okay, so uh, today we've got one against Ona Nikosu for life. Um, now, this was the last game I had on my stream the other night, and uh, there's this guy, his name's Heatmore, and he's on the team. Now, Heatmore is generally disregarded as a pile of shit and uh, just a piece of just random crap that no one uses, but my ladies and friends and gentlemen today we shall see that perhaps eat more is better than the average bear so anyway just gonna lead off with the victini to start with because i saw he had a fortress and i thought he may want to lead off with that and try and get some spike stealth rock whatever kind of hazard he wants down so um I kind of, uh, I forget about Sturdy, so I was like, dude, why the fuck did you stay in? But then I realised, oh, he has Sturdy, obviously, he just wants to get his Stealth Rock down. Which I guess is, um, you know, Suicide Lead with Stealth Rock was never really my style, I never used Aerodactyl with that back in the day, so it's something that I don't really regard as useful, it kind of just... Essentially, it makes you fight with five pokes. Uh, I mean, you get Stealth Rock down, sure, but it's kind of just like using five pokes as opposed to six, which is, I don't know, dis disadvantageous, I, I usually see. But I knew that because Fortress is so slow, even after the speed drop, Victini is going to be able to uh, still outspeed him. So, uh, barring a Kustat Berry, which I doubt he would have, um, I'm just going to kill him. So, there you go, he's dead. So, in comes Embor. I do not want to stay in on this guy. Uh, I really don't know what it's going to do. I predict the Earthquake, which is why I go to Rotom Wash, because it's a multi-purpose switch. Earthquake, obviously, to dodge, and then revenge kill him with a Hydro Pump. But, he actually goes for the Head Smash, which... I didn't even know Embor could learn Head Smash, but Jesus Christ, man, that does a lot. It takes me clean out. So, um, I guess he, uh, he Head Smash would have killed Victini anyway, and it was kind of a multi-purpose hit, um, killed Rotom as well. So, um, at this point, I'm thinking, well, okay, that's fine. I can just go to Gorbis, uh, tank the hit, set up a Shell Smash. That hit did a lot, though, so I'm thinking this thing must be heavily invested. It must be Choice Banded or something, because that did a lot. I'm, I'm pretty bulky on the Gorbis side, so I'm like, come on, um, just get up that shell smash, get the white herb, get rid of my defense drops, and pass out. I'm going to try and pass out to Machamp. I have choice banded Machamp, and I want uh, to resist the head smash. But what? What? He scarfed. He, would you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? He is scarfed. So, uh, Embor uh, managed to, to outspeed me because he is scarfed on head smash, and after plus two with Gorbis, I can out outspeed. So, that is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, the best thing for me to do is to go to a Scarfer of my own, and uh, it's going to be Entei. This is my Eruption Entei set with the uh, Scarf lead-off. Uh, I didn't lead-off with it this time for some reason. I guess I just didn't want to. I wanted to lead-off with Victini instead. But um, it's going to come in a Revenge Kill with the Overheat, so Embor's out my way regardless. That thing is down, and uh, now he can come in and uh, kind of revenge or just resist tank a hit with Burangaro uh, Gel Ascent. So, at this point, I think the best thing to go to is Machamp. Uh, I, I am, in fact, a Guts Machamp. I'm Choice Banded Guts. So I'm like, come on, burn, come on, burn, come on, burn. And I don't get the burn. I was like, well, fuck, that's annoying. It really is. Uh, but... For some reason, he doesn't go for uh, the Shadow Ball. He goes for the Energy Ball. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but uh, I do manage to get a payback off, and it is a Choice Banded hit. Um, this gets the crit, though, so I'm not sure if that crit mattered or not. It depends on uh, on damage calcs and all that rubbish. But um, I just got the payback off, um, and it was choice banded, which I didn't realise and uh, and then this thing comes in and I'm like, well fuck, his name is Ononokosu for life, so well, he's going to have an Ononokosu and try and dragon dance up on me, so he dragon dances once, and that's fine I'm not too worried about it, because uh, I know that a payback will do enough, where to I can probably come in and hit it with something else after plus one speed, because I still have uh, Entei left, but uh, he, he goes for another dragon dance, I'm like Okay, so you're going to outspeed my entire team now, but you've been hit with two paybacks and you're on a minuscule piece of health. So what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That means that it is time for our good friend Heatmore to come and show his true colours. Machamp is going to die to an outrage, not a problem. In comes I Eat Flies. The name is ironic because it was made by someone who is very ironic. Can't remember who, but it was. Um, Sucker Punch, going to kill it. Look at that. Did you expect that? No one expects that. Sucker Punch on a Heatmore. No one sees Heatmore. No one knows what it does. I have lefties as well. I am a bulky variant sucker punch. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. In comes Shiftry. Shiftry's like, you can't do anything to me. You're probably like, don't even have something to hit me with. So he thought I was going to switch out. He goes for the nasty plot. I'm sorry, Shiftry, but I am mixed. I have fire blast. So Shiftry 
<laughs> it's going to set up a nasty plot in vain because a fire blast is going to hit. It's going to almost one shot the thing. But of course, as you remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is no ordinary heat mall. This one packs Sucker Punch, which is going to uh, do a one two follow up and take down Shiftry. He's out the way. He is out of my face. Look at him. He is not as good as my bearded woman. I'll tell you that for one thing for sure. Um, so. In comes the last guy, and it all depends on what this is. And would you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? It's an Alakazam. Only I don't kill it, because it lives on, like, negative two damage. But, but, do not fret, because as you can see, Heatmore is such a monster that he manages to dodge the Focus Blast. So, there you go. I'm going to dodge the Focus Blast. Sucker Punch is going to take out Alakazam with a completely useless crit, uh, as uh, you would citation. Uh, I'm pretty sure Focus Blast would not have killed Heatmore, just because I have, like... So, this is a really weird EV spread I gave it. It was 156 HP, 100 attack, and max special attack so I guess if I would put like an extra four EVs into attack I would have killed the Alakazam but anyway that's how it goes um, Heatmore manages to clean up the field and oh what a beautiful day that was that's just that's just amazing I just I everyone was like dude what the hell is this Heatmore set Rick in particular and uh, and he just proved everyone wrong and took over the world because he's Heatmore so uh, that is gonna be it for today's upload um, I have a game on the mosh pit, um, it went up today, so if you haven't checked that out yet, I'll probably leave a link in the description, go check out my mosh pit upload. Um, uh, if you want to see this video, if, uh, well, off obviously if you're watching this video now, you're one of the Facebook people who have watched it half an hour early. If you want to get in on advanced viewings of the videos that I put up, the battles mainly, I, I, uh, I put them up half an hour earlier on my Facebook page, so if you would like some privilege of that kind, then you can go over and like the Facebook page. Uh, otherwise, follow me on Twitter, Twitter, like a chicken. And uh, I guess until next time, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Leave me a like if you enjoyed, and if you know that Heatmore rules the world, which he does. Um, and that is going to be it for today. Okay, thanks. Bye.